Thanks everyone for coming along tonight. Second leg of this run. This is the final spiral case for the third shipment. So last load for a little while. So hopefully we'll have a good run. Had a good run last night, so we're not expecting any dramas. We're seven and a half meters wide, so taking up the majority of the road. Uh, and fairly heavy, so we'll be poking along fairly steady. Destination tonight is the four mile on the other side of Kuma. Anticipating we'll get there about five, 5.30, all going well. Hi, my name is Mick Courtney, and I'm the Traffic and Transport Manager for Future Generation for the Snowy 2.0 project. So moving large pieces of equipment to site, like the one we've got here in the background, requires a great deal of planning, great deal of input by various teams over a long period of time. For example, for these uh, large movements for uh, Voith, we started discussions on the, on the transport activities on these up to 14, 15 months ago. Uh, we'll be pulling up at Eagle Hawk when we get there to meet up with the AFP for their escort through Canberra as well. As you're all aware, usual practice with this sort of load as we go along, we'll have the two police at the rear just keep everything closed for the most part until we get to suitable pullover points where we can clear traffic. Hi, I'm James Daly, Traffic and Transport Superintendent for Future Generation on the Snowy 2.0. Moving huge pieces of equipment like this to site requires a lot of teamwork from both internal and external stakeholders. So the primary considerations when moving any of these larger pieces of equipment always comes down to safety. And whether that's safety of other road users or safety of those in the community, but also the road infrastructure. Planning an oversized over mass move like the spiral case requires three main considerations. Safety, compliance and the community. We've got an eight metre wide load coming through. So if you just stay where you are, it'll get through in about five minutes and then you'll be right to continue. Thank you. Specialised freight operators are required for these specialised loads. Seven and a half metres wide, over 60 metres on the road, two prime movers pulling, one pushing, not any ordinary load that you see on the road any day. Awesome loads like this one will travel over three nights from Port Kembla to site. We travel at night to ensure minimal road disruption to other road users. Drivers are also required to take mandatory rest fatigue breaks. It's the last leg of this load, it's the last load for a recent shipment, so last one for a couple of months. I uh, had a good run the last couple of nights, so expecting the same tonight. Obviously had a bit of rain throughout the day, so the road will be a bit wet, so we'll just take it easy. So the challenges of the route is so different from down at Port Kembla through the Hume Highway, where you're on a, a highway with other trucks, uh, 110 kilometre hour zones, up through the windy mountains, up here in the Kosciuszko National Park, till we get to our end location down at Lobs Hole. It's a real buzz when loads like this get to site reaching their final destination and knowing that you've been involved in this, moving some of these items for this iconic project and they've been delivered safely with minimal to no interruptions to other road users in the community.